Uh, yes, you left one of your hands. Uh, keep it, Chief. You may need a hand later on. Oh. <laughs> okay, guys, remember, we're still looking for Nimoy and the Tango. Fortunately for us, though, Acme Bugnet has just intercepted this phone conversation between Nimoy and Carmen San Diego. Watch. Head for one of my favorite French cities. It's a food and wine lover's paradise on the Rhone River. What makes it so special? Great vineyards nearby, and some great restaurants with two and three stars. Stars are intergalactic property. I got in trouble when I stole Alpha Centauri. Not real stars, Nimoy. Stars are a rating system used by the French. Three stars is the highest honor a restaurant can receive. Ah, yes. We have a similar system on my planet, but the highest rating isn't three Okay, thanks, guys. Now, Gumshoes, name the city, if you will. Is it Paris, Lyon, or Bordeaux? Remember the clues that we heard? French city, food and wine lovers paradise, and on the Rhone River. Box B is ready, so is Wesley, and so is Tawahida. Box B, we'll start with you. What do you say? I chose Paris. Paris. Wesley, what do you think? I chose Paris. Paris. Tawahida. I chose Paris. 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 The answer we're looking for is Lyon. <laughs> Sorry, guys. No one got anywhere on that one. Okay, so that means Lakshmi, you say it's 75, Wesley's still at 75, Tawahita still at 55. Now, I'd say it's time to tune in to the World Band Radio. Najbardziej zaludnione obszary Polski w pobliżu granicy z Czechosłowacją zostały ogłoszone przez Polski Instytut Naukowy terenem z katastrofalnym stanem środowiska. Przestarzałe fabryki i przedatowane przepisy oraz brak nadzoru ze strony poprzedniego komunistycznego rządu spowodowały ten straszny kryzys w jednym z najbardziej uprzemysłowionych regionów Polski. Ten ekstraterestrial ze skradzionym tankiem wleciał nad Polską i pływa w powietrzu. Ok, Gumshoes, you heard it. Let's try to make some sense out of it all. Name the Polish province. Is it Katowice, Pluk, or Radom? Remember the clues that we heard in the most industrialized Polish province, in the most densely populated pro pro Polish region, and near Czechoslovakian border. Come on, finance as quickly as you can, please. Tawahid is ready, so is Lakshmi, and so is Wesley. Lakshmi, we'll start with you. What do you think? I chose Karavitsa. Karavitsa. What do you think, Wesley? I chose Karavitsa. Karavitsa. What do you think, Tawahid? I chose Karavitsa. Karavitsa. Everyone said the same thing. Everybody's right. Nice job, guys. Okay, that's the way to do it. Now, Lakshmi, you have 85. Wesley, 85. Tawahid, 65. Crime bucks. That's a nice job. Nice job. Nice way to do that. Uh, now, we heard that Nimoy has left, left Karavitsa, so it's time that we pick up the chase. <laughs> The Very nice job. Okay, now, uh, remember also that these are worth five crime bucks. Hands on your buzzers, please, and watch the monitor. Here we go. According to our agents, Nimoy hid out in the fjords of western Scandinavia. What country is she in? Tawahida. Norway. Norway's right. Nimoy dashed east across Norway's national border. What country is she in now? Like Sweden. Sweden. Sweden's right. From Sweden, Nimoy sailed east across the Gulf of Bothnia. Tawahida. Finland. Finland's right. Good job. Nimoy headed southwest from Finland to the capital of Denmark. Tawahida. Copenhagen. Copenhagen's right. Nice job. From Copenhagen, she flew the tango northwest to Reykjavik. What country is she in? Tawahida. Iceland. Is right. Nice job. That means at the end of the chase round, Lakshmi have 90, Wesley 85, and Tawahida is back in this thing. 85 crime bucks. Nice job. <laughs> Good job, all of you guys. Way to do it. Now, it is time... For the final clue of this round, which means you have to decide how much you want to risk. If you're right, we'll add that amount to your score. If you're not right, though, we'll subtract it from your score. You can risk, as always, 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, or 50 Acme Crime Bucks. Take a look right over here, if you will, please. Here is a portion of the world where we think Nimoy is headed. Now, if you know a lot about this part of the world, you may want to risk a lot. If you don't know very much about it, though, you may not want to risk quite so much. So, take a look at the map. And think about it. Okay, everybody's made a decision. Go ahead and once you have those, lay those right down in front of you there. Okay, now I believe it's time that we uh, squeeze some info out of our stool pigeon. Yeah, sure. I saw Nimoy. So what? She's in that country they call the Gold Coast, back when it was a British colony. But I ain't no stoolie, see? Nimoy's the stoolie. She'd try to sit on the golden stool. 
It's a sacred symbol of the Ashanti people, and no one can sit on it, not even the king. Nah, because the people believe it contains their nation's soul. That crazy alien just didn't care. They almost fed her to the lion, but she escaped up the Volta River. Now, buzz off, coppers. I'm not talking. Nah. Okay, gumshoes, name the country, if you would, please. Is it Burkina Faso, Ghana, or Central African Republic? Remember the clues that we heard? Former British colony called the Gold Coast, the Ashanti, and Volta River. Once you have an answer, lay it down right there in front of you, and we will proceed from there. Lay it down there, right in front of you, Lakshmi. Okay. Uh, Tawa, uh, Tawahira, you have 85 crime bucks. You've made quite a comeback here. We're going to find out, first off, how much did you risk? I risked 20 crime bucks. 20 crime bucks. What'd you say? I said Ghana. Ghana is exactly right. Nice job. <laughs> Takes you up to 105, and you are back in this thing. Wesley, you have 85 crime bucks. How much did you risk? 20 crime bucks. 20 crime bucks. That means you'll go up to 105 as well if you're right. What'd you say? I chose Ghana. Nice job, sir. Takes up to 105. Lakshmi, you were in the lead at the beginning of this round. How much did you risk? I said 30 crime bucks. 30 crime bucks. That means if you are right, you will definitely be in the lead and we'll have to do a tiebreaker between Wesley and Tawahita. What'd you say? I said Ghana. Nice job. That means, Lakshmi, you're definitely going on to the next round. Wesley and Tawahita, we have to do a tiebreaker. Here's how it's going to work. I'm going to name a place. What you have to do is tell me what state that place is in. I'm going to keep naming places in that state until one of you answers correctly. You can buzz in as many times as you like, okay? Hands on the buzzers. Listen carefully. Here we go. Wounded Knee, Badlands National Park, Castle Rock, Mount Rushmore National Memorial. Aberdeen, Wesley. Washington. Sorry, it's not Washington. Again, you can buzz in again if you want to. Aberdeen, Rapid City, Sioux Falls, Tawahita. Wyoming. It's not Wyoming. Pier, Wesley. Uh, South Dakota. South Dakota is right. Nice job. That means Lakshmi and Wesley are going on to the next round. Tawahita, listen, you are a great detective. You are in that thing to the very end. We've uh, put together a kit that's going to help you in your next case. Chief. It's the official Acme Crime Net Travel Kit, and it includes an atlas for world travelers, an official common watch, a common t-shirt, a subscription to National Geographic World Magazine, and for quick reference when you're pounding the pavement, this handy world globe. Chief, don't feel bad. I know you can do that shot. I've seen you make it a hundred times before. Okay, guys, now it's time for you to go to Ghana to try to track down Nimoy. What you have to do is bring him back as well as the uh, tango. But I want you to know, we do not send our agents out into the field unprepared. Uh, Chief, how about a briefing? <laughs> The boys down at Acme Photo Recon have put together a few slides on Ghana. Now, have a look. This is the airport at Accra, the capital of Ghana. Nimoy probably brought the stolen dance into the country through here. Now look for pirates tangoing in the terminal. The University of Ghana at Accra. Some say it has a terrific language department. Not surprising, because there are over 50 different languages spoken in Ghana. Though, I doubt anyone speaks Nimoy's native tongue of Roddenberryan. Nimoy likes to snack on a little aluminum from time to time. And here at Port Tema, they ship tons of it every year. Now, check out Accra's appeal.